Okay, we live on the island of Oahu. Did you know that they filmed Lost on this island? And Matt and I, since they put Lost back on Netflix, have been re-watching Lost. So we figured today that we're gonna go find the beach where they filmed Lost and spend the day there. Well first, we're gonna stop and get some acai bowls on the way because I'm fucking hungry. So let's go. Bye chicken. Bernie's upstairs and doesn't give two shits about us, so there's also that. Bye, Bernie, we love Bye, you. Bye, Bernie. All right, come on, let's go. I'm really excited. This beach, I'm sure, will be beautiful. Also, my monster is thriving. Not that anybody asked. I think the weather's actually supposed to be really decent today, oh, right? Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Oh, blue skies. Just make sure you crop our house number out. Oh, they don't want to know where we live? Yeah, y'all don't need to know where we live. This uh, Maui Babe Browning Lotion makes my skin super oily and I don't want to mess up his leather seats with my soy sauce legs. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, enough lovey-dovey shit, let's go. Let's go. I'm hungry. I'm really excited. Honestly, I think the biggest thing I'm excited for is to actually spend the day soaking up some sun rays because I feel like I'm very pasty and I want to fix that. <laughs> right? Yeah, same. Okay. So we're going to go grab acai bowls from this amazing coffee place. It's like a coffee restaurant. It's so pretty on the inside. It's called Island Vintage Coffee and they have the best, the best acai bowls. You're going to be drooling over this, I promise. So let's go. Look at those beautiful blue skies. It's so pretty out. Let's go. Top down for our viewers or not? Maybe once we actually get on the road, I should have brought a hat. I need a hat. If we're gonna put the top back, I need a hat. All right, I'm gonna place an online order for our acai bowls so that they are ready when we get there because we're gonna eat them in the car. An original acai bowl, which is what I get and I add their in-house almond butter, which is so good. So good. So we got that, what would you like? I might get the same thing. So the same thing? Yep. So dos? Dos. This place is so good, there's always a line there. There is. All day, every day. And I actually just noticed yesterday, they're open until like 10. Dinner acai bowls? Sure. <laughs> Dessert? Dessert. Look at that. Look at it. Personally, I feel like they went really heavy on the granola because let me show you Matt's. Mm -hmm. um, Matt's actually has a lot more acai in there. Honestly. I offered to trade. It's not about trading, it's about just, it's a, not a granola bowl, it's an acai bowl. <laughs> a granola bowl. I'm sure it's still gonna taste great, mm -hmm. nonetheless. Could you open my spoon for me? Yes. There's a lot going on on my lap right now. Also, the line in there today was like insane. I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna tripod you on my knees. Good luck. Okay. Yes. Jeez. There's no denying how good that is. It's so good. And hey, we're all friends here, right? Oh no. Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> Acai is the worst for this. Acai bowls are the absolute worst mm -hmm. for getting stuff in your teeth. They were so good though. It was so good though. We demolished those pretty much. Demolished. He's gonna go throw those away and then Let's hit the road and get over to go try and find the beach where they filmed Lost. Come on. Okay, I have a question for you, honey. You've seen Lost all the way through, like you watched the show. Mm -hmm. And so now we're currently re-watching it and are in towards the end of season two. What is your favorite episode of Lost? Oh my gosh. 
We should put a big fat spoiler alert warning before we start talking about the show. Some people are right. watching it for the first time on okay. Netflix. I think my favorite is when they finally blow up the hatch, they go inside and they meet Desmond for the first time. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah, when we find out what's going on inside the hatch. What about you? Um, it hasn't happened yet. Oh. It's about to happen. I think it actually happens in season three. Like season three starts the storyline. Yeah. And so currently where we are in season two, Michael has just come back to the camp after going out to find the others. And he comes back and he kills Libby. He kills Ana Lucia. And so now he's got a posse together, which is Jack, Kate, Sawyer, and Hurley. And Saeed decides to tag along as well to go attack the others to get Walt. But it's uh, it's a setup. And that's why Saeed wants to go because Saeed is like, Michael's being irrationally calm yes. and like acting weird considering everything that has happened and that he was held captive by the others and all this stuff when really he's a double agent and um, the others want Jack, Kate, Sawyer and I don't really know why they want Hurley maybe because he's the optimist he's the laid back guy I don't know they didn't want Locke to go though who did it? Like, when Michael was bringing people back, Locke was not one of the people that he wanted to bring back. That's a good point. Which I thought was weird. But, um, the storyline picks up in season three where they have all been captive, they've been cap held captive by the others. Um, and we meet Juliet for the first time at in season three, episode one. Um, and I like her role in everything because season three, you kind of, between season three and season four, you, at the start, she feels like she's a good guy. And as season three and season four plays out, she realizes that she's not a good guy. Um, and I also think I like the, the romancing between she and Jack that is kind of lingering in the background of the storyline there's tension so yeah that's my favorite part is when we meet Juliet I can't wait to watch the rest of it yeah so I have another question who's your favorite favorite character and why I think Locke is my favorite character because of the transformation that he had from his backstory to who he is now and he's just such like a curious guy and is always trying to go on adventures and figure out the deeper meaning of things. So I think that's why Locke is my favorite character. It's interesting that you say that considering you don't remember the end of the show and who John Locke is. So f for context, I watched this show 20 years ago like a lot of people did back when it aired on television and the DVDs first came out. I have completely memory hold all of the storylines and the ending of the show. So Everything that she's talking about in season three and four, I do not remember, and I'm going to basically be reliving for the first time. And I basically remember everything, yeah. minus a few details. Yeah. So but once it happens, I'm like, oh yeah, the. So who is your favorite character? Um. Ooh. I'd say probably Saeed. I feel like there's, like, his backstory is really good, but considering his background and his backstory, he's just this very soft, sweet man, mm -hmm. and there's almost, like, this lovable, like, really adorable, lovable side to Saeed, but also, like, you know, he's, what, what, what was he? He was an, an Iraqi soldier. Yeah, so, you know. He's got a history there. But also, like, from his backstory, like, how he ended up to be on that flight was something to do with a love interest of his from years before that ended up dying. And, um, it's crazy. Which I don't even think we've we have learned about yet. that yet in season two. So, yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of like this, uh hopeless romantic side of Saeed that you wouldn't think that about him because of his 
of like what you know so far of him in the show. He was so quick to try and get in a relationship with that one girl though in season one, so he really it does have a soft side to him. She was annoying. Like I can't even Shannon. Yeah, Why I did Shannon? not like her. I also didn't like Boone's character. He was also just kinda dumb. If I didn't come on both home. Yeah. <laughs> That's just true. Um, we're about to come up on the army base here in a minute. We're passing a farm. Nice. And all these speed bumps. And all these speed bumps, but it looks like Toy Story outside. Beautiful. So here we are arriving to the parking area and this just went full blown voiceover mode because something happened with the audio of the camera. So you know what? We're just going to fucking wing it. But taking our steps onto the beach right here right now and I can already tell this looks really familiar to me. I didn't expect to see people here but considering this is a beach in Hawaii and this little damn island, I'm shocked that there's not more people here, especially also because it's the beach from Lost, which was like a huge TV show. But can we just talk about the fact that there were so many sea turtles here? And that was probably my personal favorite thing about coming over to this beach. So we do have a little bit of a trek because we gotta walk all the way the hell down there. So let's go because it's hot as shit. Also, we just, I, I recognize that. That is literally where they set up their table and I'm pretty sure that's where Sawyer's tent was. And I'm also pretty sure that the scene that we were just watching last night where Charlie was throwing those little Mary statues was there, but we made it, yay. Um, why is it so freaking hot? Come over to the water, I'm gonna show you some of the sea turtles that were just chilling there trying to come up on the shore. Like, you can already see them. Look at this dude's little head out. Oh my god, it's so cute. But there's one there and one right there. It's really cool. Also, Matt took the camera as I was going snorkeling, and when I got in the water, Matt was like, oh, there's one right there, and I put my head down into the water, and it was literally right in my face, and it scared the shit out of me. I jumped out of the water, and I screamed because I was just not expecting it to be in my face. But yeah, this is freaking awesome. I'm so happy. I think this is definitely my favorite beach because like I said, look at the sea turtles. And this little asshole dog just ran up and the people are just like, hey man, don't do that. But yeah, they were chilling and this one had enough of that damn dog. So he's going back in the water to cool down because it was so freaking hot. And also I got majorly sunburnt, don't know how. And it's kind of ironic because at the beginning of this video, I was all like, mm, I'm gonna get some sun. So, yeah, thanks for coming to find this beach from Lost with us. It literally was one of the coolest things we've ever seen. And until we see you next time. Cool. Kayla, you bye. <laughs>